Hey all out there and welcome to another unscripted Flix Picks review. As you've probably guessed by now, today's review is for Rock of Ages. And no, I haven't had a hair transplant, I just felt like getting into the uh, spirit of things. Okay, right off the bat, I have to say, in my opinion, I think the show is better. But what they did with this movie was really good. You've got an all-star cast here. You know, with Alec Baldwin, Russell Brand, Julianne Hough. Tom Cruise, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and they all bring their A-game into this movie. And it's very well done as well, but there is just one little problem with it, and that's the fact that it's the music that carries the movie. I mean, you've, but what great music it is. You've got the likes of Death Leopard, Twisted Sister, Poison, Journey, Bon Jovi. You know, the list goes on, and it's all this great classic 80s rock music. Which sadly isn't around today anymore, but, you know, it still lives on with all these bands that are still touring. Of course, as we all know, Def Leppard, Poison and Lita Ford will be touring the States this summer, starting on June 20th, which will be bloody good in my opinion. And, um, anyway, back to the movie. It has to be said, the cast are great, but I'm sure everyone's said this already here on YouTube. Tom Cruise as Stacey Jacks really steals the show. The best way I could describe it is imagine if Ozzy Osbourne and Axl Rose had a love child. It would probably be Tom Cruise as Stacey Jacks. And it was, like I said, it was really good, but there were so many plot, lo plot lines in it that just went nowhere. Like, I won't spoil anything, but there's a situation that happens and it just leads to nowhere between... Alec Baldwin and Russell Brand's characters. I'm not going to spoil what happens though. And it has to be said as well, I'm not really spoiling too much here either because it's in the trailer, but Tom Cruise's monkey called Heyman gets most of the laughs in this movie, and which is really cool to see as well. So I'm going to give this movie two ratings on a whole. As a movie, I'd give it about a 5.5 or 6 out of 10. But for the music, it gets a 10 out of 10, hands down. And that's going to do it for this review. I'm sorry it's been a quick one, but be sure to comment below and tell me what your favourite 80s rock song is. And be sure to like, favourite and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. And let me know if you like the hair. <laughs> Take care, guys.